Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to learn what is percentage sampling transformation. It is a transformation that gives us the percentage output of those input records. Whatever the percentage we will define in this transformation. Uh, so let's say we have 200 records in the source and we want to get 5% of those records as a sample. So what we will do, we will put the 5% in the transformation and it will give us 10 records output um, more or less so I will define why I said more or less 10 or maybe 11 or maybe 9 records so let's go to the SSDT or bids and create a package for this transformation as this is a transformation we will be using data flow and inside the data flow we will be reading the records from some source we are going to read the data from a SQL server table in this case double click I have made a connection already so I'm going to select uh, a table called customer AS uh, and uh, that has columns first name last name address phone number etc so the next part is uh, bring the transformation called percentage sampling in the uh, common or other uh, transformation right now I am in SSDT and that's how I see these tabs or like destination assistance source assistance and all that but you might not see in old version so don't worry about that you will see the percentage sampling transformation though so get that one and connect to your source double click here here you will be defining the percentage uh, of the records you want to get in this case uh, right now it is in 10% of the input records that we want to see as a sample I want to set this one to 1% the percentage sampling transformation is going to create two outputs for us uh, one is called sample output name that's what it is the very first one sampling selected output so all those 1% records will be going on this output and uh, all other ones uh, they will be going on the sampling unselected output you can change the name whatever you want um, they, they, there is um, you can uh, change it right here if I want to say my sampled data and I'm gonna leave this one as it is next part is uh, use the following random seed if I will click this one and uh, define random seed here what is going to happen each time it is going to use the same random seed and uh, give me the same records uh, on each of the execution of uh, SSIS package I wanna leave this one uh, unchecked so I will get uh, the random records uh, each time uh, different random records on whenever I run the package now one thing uh, as we have defined 1% uh, of the input records that we want to get as a sample and I as I, t I was telling you in the first day you might not get the exact one percent so that's how the algorithm work you will be getting very close to one percent you there would be plus or minus some records but uh, that's how the, the row, uh, person sampling transformation work so let's hit OK now the next part is uh, we want to load this data into Excel or CSV or uh, SQL Server table so the people can study. In our case, I'm not going to use those uh, um, destinations. I'm put, putting this data into the multicast uh, and then uh, I will be putting data viewer to present that data in a graphical uh, form here so you can see that. Here we have uh, my sample data. I connected uh, to the multicast and this one connected to the multicast one now I want to implement data viewer here so we can see the records let's go back to our uh, table and this table has uh, um, some records uh, I was taking a look it has uh, um, 160,000 records uh, and uh, I, if I, I will take uh, the sample 1% one, 1 of that records uh, so how many records I will get I will get 1600 38 records so let's see what uh, row sample uh, person sampling uh, will get us let's run the SSIS package so what I see here in the data viewer these are the rows displayed in the data viewer. that doesn't mean these are the total rows uh, are sample so we can keep clicking um, and uh, that's how it will keep showing us so data viewer uh, doesn't show you all the records or thousands of records whatever you have in the um, in this window so you can uh, close this one and then see we have we got uh, 1641 records and 1% 1 of that was 1638 records so there are more records we got when we executed this uh, 
uh, transformation. Let's go back, uh, run one more time and see what we get. Close the data viewer. Now what we got, we got even uh, more records. We got 1657 records and uh, according to the one person, it should be 1638 records or 39 records. Uh, so each time you will getting more or less records, uh, that's uh, depending on the algorithm and uh, that's not going to be exact percentage what you have defined. One last point I would like to say, if you are reading the data from a SQL Server table, Oracle table or any uh, relational databases, uh, uh, instead of uh, using the row sampling here and bringing the millions of records uh, uh, in the memory for SSIS2 process, uh, you can use the queries uh, and then uh, get the sample uh, records. Um, I, I, I would recommend uh, do not uh, use uh, this uh, transformation as it is a blocking transformation and if you have milli fi 50, 50 million records uh, you don't want to bring uh, all those records in the memory and process them uh, uh, if you have flat file excel file or xml file uh, that make uh, may maybe make sense to bring these records here and then um, get the percentage uh, sampling records from that but still uh, if you have uh, really huge uh, um, uh, flat file with the uh, 70 million, 60 million, 50 million, uh, you might want to insert those records into the SQL server table or Oracle table and use some other techniques uh, uh, by using T-SQL query or PL-SQL query to get a percentage sampling records uh, for the studies. Uh, sorry for the disturbance, uh, <laughs> there are airplanes uh, uh, flying around and uh, there are kids. Uh, it's, a, it's a Saturday morning, so <laughs> I hope uh, that the disturbance uh, didn't affect you. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.